Hi, my name is Aldo Macedo. This is The Falling Water by Frank Lloyd Wright. The Falling Water was designed in 1935 by Frank Lloyd Wright. It was constructed in 1938 in western Pennsylvania. From 1937 to 1939, it took two years to complete. The Kaufman family moved in that same year it was completed. Who is Frank Lloyd Wright, you might ask? He was an architect, interior designer, an educator, and he wrote over 20 books. Frank Lincoln Wright was born in Richland Center, Wisconsin, on June 8, 1867, to William Carey Wright, an internet music teacher, composer, and Baptist minister, and Anna Lloyd Jones Wright, a school teacher. Following his parents' divorce in 1885, Frank changed his middle name to Lloyd to honor his mother's family. Wright's family lived on a farm, and as a boy, his experiences taking care of animals and harvesting a life out of the earth made an indelible impression on him that influenced him consciously and even more importantly unconsciously throughout his life. During his youth, he spent many hours purposefully observing the subtle behavior of sunlight, the shifting shadows of dusk, and the changing of the seasons. Enthralled, he later sought out great thinkers whose beliefs affirmed and ultimately refined his, such as Theodore Emerson and Whitman. Wright's reference for the natural world became the cornerstone for his pioneering theories of organic architecture and wood shape define and enhance every project he approached for the rest of his life. The Kaufmans were the patriarch of a prominent Pittsburgh family known for their distinctive sense of style and taste. Edgar Jonas Kaufman was a highly respected businessman and owner of Kaufman's department store. Edgar and his wife William traveled in international circles and sought out the company of artists, architects, and other creative souls throughout their lives. Their only child, Edgar Kaufman Jr., was an equally sensitive and artistic man who would become the catalyst for his father's relationship with Frank Lloyd Wright. The Kaufman's love for Bear Run's rushing waterfalls inspired their architect to imagine a residence placed not as the Kaufman's were expecting, across from the falls where they could be enjoyed from afar, but can't deliver directly over them. It was a daring move that permitted the Kaufmans to not only simply view nature, but to actually live in it. The natural beauty surrounding the falling water is connected to the understanding and the appreciation of the house itself. The genius of Frank Lloyd Wright to physically and spiritually embrace the natural world is captured in the daring and innovative architecture set among the forest landscape of the Bear Run. The nearly 170 built-in and freestanding wood furnishings designed by Frank Lloyd Wright for Falling Water share many of the characteristics of the house itself. Fabricated of North Carolina black walnut, the tables, shelvings, desk, banquet seats featured cantilevered horizontal elements. Their edges and corners rounded to soften the line and suggest the rounded edges of the concrete as well as the door fronts and tabletop venues contain a light colored band of sapwood within the grain field to give them movement and variety. Echoing a natural pattern established by its neighboring rock ledges, Wright positioned the house over the falls in a stacked grouping of cantilevered concrete trays, each anchored to a central stone chimney mass of local quarried Pottsville sandstone. Although the house rises more than 30 feet above the falls, the strong horizontal lines and resulting low ceilings reinforce the safe, sheltering effect right source to achieve, seemingly bringing the natural environment into the house as well as enticing the inhabitants out. The square footage 
of outdoor trenches of falling water is almost the same as that of its indoor rooms. Stone is the most symbolic of the materials used at falling water. Pottsville sandstone was acquired from a nearby quarry to use in building walls and laid in a rough, shifting manner to imitate natural stone ledges found jutting along Bear Run. Projecting behind the line of the mortar as much as 3-4 to four inches. This technique was meant to help unify the house to its site and the effect is making it appear that the falling water is growing out of its landscape. The organic architecture in the falling water's design symbolizes the harmony between people and nature through thoughtful design that is seamlessly integrated within its natural setting, the building, its furnishing, and the surroundings become cohesive parts of one unified interrelated composition. This right described was where the whole is to the part as the part is to the whole and where the nature of the materials, the nature of the purpose, the nature of the entire performance are all equally important to the resulting building. The windows and door frames at Falling Water are also made of steel and were specified by Frank Lloyd Wright to be manufactured by Hope's Windows of Jamestown, New York. At the same time, when stashes were traditionally made of wood, the steel was relatively new material for Frank. Here, the concrete cantilevered trenches seem to float above the river and shallow falls. The house is approached through a tree-lined path, then one crosses over a small bridge. For over a decade, the falling water acted as a private residence, viewable only by invitation, yet also gained fame as Frank Lloyd Wright's career took an upswing in the 1940s and 1950s. In 1952, shortly after the death of Lillian Kaufman, Edgar Kaufman and his son discussed the future of the falling water, agreeing the house and the landing surrounded should eventually become accessible to the public. Kaufman imagined that the falling water could become a place where scholars, students, and artists might come to find inspiration from the building and its landscape while pursuing individual or group study. Today, the Falling Water Institute honors Kaufman's vision by providing a simulating setting for learning and collaborating for individuals' interests in classes, workshops, and residence at the Falling Water. For my art assignment, I decided to create a brace cantilever. I used craft sticks, acrylic paint, and wood glue. I painted it to resemble a tree with a branch sticking out like how Frank did with his design. I wanted my artwork to represent nature and also have an element of architecture.